teach you guys how to fix a broken sandal. Now what you can see has happened here is actually the plug has broken off, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with just a few very basic materials and I'll be able to fix the sandal so I'll be able to wear it again. And actually the plug that I'll make will be a little bit stronger than the plug that used to be in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm first going to need two materials. I'll need a pair of scissors, okay? And the first step that you will do is you will cut this little extra piece where the, the plug was connected to. You want to cut it as close as you can to the strap. Okay, so you can see it almost looks like it was never there. The next piece of material that you'll need is you'll just need a regular old plastic bag. Okay, a regular size plastic bag uh, that you would get from a, a, a store is a little bit better than a small one. You need to take your bag and you need to put the handles together. Okay, so they're together as one. Then what you want to do is you want to kind of lay the, ba the bag flat and then you want to put it underneath the strap. Okay, so you can see I have my strap here, and then I have my, my bag here. Now, you can see that I'm using a bag that's the same exact color as the sandal strap, okay? That's because when you fix it, if it's the same color, it's very unnoticeable. So you, nobody will say like, hey, what's a plastic bag doing on your sandals? So the first thing you wanna do is, again, put the bag handles together, put it facing backwards, and then you wanna take the, the bottom part of the bag and you wanna put it through the handles. Okay? And then what will happen is as you tighten it down, you'll see that it will start to tighten around the strap. Okay? And this will keep this bag connected to the strap over time. Now as I'm tightening it down, you'll see that it's starting to close around the, the I guess like the apex of the, of the strap. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tighten it and tighten it and tighten it down. And you can see it's really, really, really tight on there, okay? And then I have all my extra bag over here to the side. Uh, again, there might be little frilly things that you see, you know, like, like here, you can see a little bit of stuff. You, you can always cut that stuff off later, but just leave it for now. The next step is you're gonna take your bag and you basically want to get all the air out of it the best you can. Then you're just gonna just keep twisting it until it's a tight rope. Plastic. If you have air bubbles, you can actually just keep squeezing them and they'll come right out if you squeeze them towards the strap. So there we go, we have a pretty tight cord there, you can see it. It needs to be pretty tight because it needs to fit all the way through the hole in the bottom of the sandal. So that's what I'll do next, I'll thread it through the bottom of the sandal. And as you bring it through, you don't really have to worry about keeping it tied very tightly. The only place where it needs to be tight is where your toe is going to be. So really up close right here. Now something I've done, um, this is, you know, not the first time I've fixed sandals like this, is I will actually bring it almost all the way to, okay? You see like normally, normally your strap would probably be like that on your sandal and you have a little bit of leeway, uh, but I'm gonna bring it really, really close to the bottom, okay? So they're almost like touching each other. Now what I'm gonna do on the bottom of the sandal is I'm going to tie a knot. Now something that I've just learned is that you need to tie more than one knot. So what I'm going to do, you can see I tied one knot there, I'm actually going to double and maybe even triple knot this. Um, it's, your, it's your decision there, but if it's a small bag, you might want to triple knot it. If it's a regular size bag, I would say a double knot would do. So I'm gonna try with a double knot here. This is a regular size bag. And you can see the knot is pretty big, right? That's a, a pretty big knot on the bottom of the sandal there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to work it until it gets close to the bottom. And then you'll see, I'm, I can actually pull this a little bit further away from the sandal here. So there's a little bit of space for my toes to get in there. You don't want this to be too big. If this is too big, it's really uncomfortable to wear the sandals and they kind of flop on your feet and you, you have to use a little bit more effort when you're wearing your sandals. So uh, I'm gonna keep just moving, moving my knot until I get it to a place where I think it will be comfortable to wear it as a sandal. Okay, that's pretty good. So you'll see there's a gigantic knot on the bottom here, right? You see that? What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this 
really as close as I can to the mouth. Okay? All this extra bag, you can use it to, for your dog's poop or whatever you want to do with it. But you don't really need that anymore, right? So here you have your sandal. You can see it's about, you know, just like an inch away. But you see this gigantic knot on the bottom. Now what's going to happen is as you wear your sandal, that knot is just going to become a part of your sandal. Okay? It, it, it eventually will be just dead even with your sandal. You won't even notice that it's there. Here's another older pair of sandals that I have that I did a fix on. Um, again, a little bit different color. You can see I used a, a bag that matches the color of the strap. And then if you take a look, look at my the bottom, it almost looks exactly like the plugs in the back. Um, so over time, it basically just wears down and just becomes part of the sandal. And like I said, uh, I've been wearing these sandals for six months with no problems in. Not one person has has looked down on my sandals and been like, whoa, you have a plastic bag on your sandals. So. Sandals pretty much fixed there. Again, if there's little, you know, frilly stuff on the on the side, you can cut that off with scissors, but otherwise, that's it. Um, again, I hope this is something that helps you out. It's uh, something that's helped me out many times. I've been walking with my sandals and pop, and then all, all, I, all I need is a, pa a plastic bag and a pair of scissors, and I'm able to fix it, so... Anyway, my name is Ryan. Uh, if you like this video, just press like, and you can subscribe to my channel. And, uh, yeah, hope this helps you out sometime in your life.